What have Biden and Harris achieved? A look at key metrics 10 years to feel the effects. President Biden, with Vice President Kamala Harris, has shown progress on various fronts, including job creation, health care, and crime reduction, though not across the board. As Vice President Harris and former President Donald Trump approach the election, they bring different records to the table. Comparing their past performance through data provides a deeper perspective on their capabilities and policy effectiveness. In March, Bloomberg opinion analysts reviewed 10 metrics, examining the Biden-Harris administration's performance against the Trump-Pence administration in areas like the economy, immigration, and crime. Much has shifted since then. Biden stepped back from the race, Harris and Trump chose running mates, and both accepted their party's nominations. Revisiting these metrics, the goal is to answer a fundamental question. Has the country fared better under the current or previous administration? And which candidate's approach is backed by proven results? Immigration and border security. Despite a recent drop in border encounters following a June executive order limiting asylum access, the Biden-Harris administration has faced criticism over record high migration numbers in the past four years. The administration has recorded over 8 million border encounters, with more than a million individuals granted temporary entry through parole programs. Meanwhile, the backlog of asylum cases has nearly doubled. Although Harris's role focused on addressing root causes of migration in Central America, not short-term border fixes, she is now committed to signing a border security bill if elected, signaling a shift to address public concerns on immigration crime and public safety. While presidents have limited control over crime trends, Biden's term has seen a decline in crime since 2021. After a significant rise in the homicide rate in 2020, murder rates have been dropping, with a 17% reduction reported so far this year across 277 cities. If this trend holds, the national murder rate may fall below 2019 levels. Biden supported increased funding for law enforcement, pushing back against calls to defund the police, while Harris has generally promoted a balanced approach of law enforcement and criminal justice reform. By contrast, Trump's focus on crime as a campaign issue may face challenges, as crime rates were higher when he left office. Health care access and prescription costs One of Biden's lasting achievements has been expanding health care access. Since taking office, he has introduced subsidies, tax credits, and resources to help Americans enroll in health care plans, reversing coverage losses from the previous administration. By 2023, the uninsured rate dropped to 7.2 percent, a record low. While there has been a slight increase recently due to the end of COVID-related public insurance coverage, Affordable Care Act enrollment has reached an all-time high helping offset the impact. Biden's work on prescription drug affordability has also made a significant impact. He introduced a $35 insulin cap for Medicare recipients and limited annual out-of-pocket drug costs. The Inflation Reduction Act further empowered Medicare to negotiate drug prices, which is projected to save taxpayers $6 billion and seniors $1.5 billion. Harris plans to extend these savings to all Americans, introduce more drugs into Medicare's negotiation program, and explore medical debt relief. As Americans weigh their choices, these data points offer insights into the achievements and challenges faced by the Biden-Harris administration, and how they compare to the goals and record of the previous administration.